Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, February 22nd, and you're watching this week's episode of Titan TV. I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Braylon. Our culinary students have been hard at work. Let's see what they've been cooking up. Our culinary classes here at Centennial are very excited about the opportunities we've been given from Medical City Children's Hospital. We're working with them to, um, in a program called Kids Teaching Kids. And our school, our culinary students, have come up with 20 recipes that will be put together in a cookbook. And um, this cookbook will be printed and given out to every fourth and fifth grade student. Each of these recipes are healthy snack recipes that a fourth or fifth grade student could make on their own after school using just very easy, simple um, ingredients and simple tools and equipment. Each of my students did a recipe. We sent all of the recipes over to the, the feeder elementary schools into our um, into Centennial and we had a vehicle where they could um, look at all the recipes and they voted and these 20 were the top of the ones that were sent. In the next few weeks and months the culinary students will be going to um, different elementaries and working with the PTAs and and helping them with their healthy healthy eating or a health fair that they're going to be putting on and my students will be um, giving them demonstrations of some of these recipes. We're really excited about what we have going ahead. Wow, that looked delicious. Uh, Ashlyn, really? Why are you on your phone right now? I'm texting my mom. Okay, maybe I'm not, but Molly and Tyler have the scoop on some apps that are actually helpful during school. About 98% of students have smartphones in Centennial, so why not use them to your advantage? If you have a smart device and you need help in school, we interviewed Ms. Turner, the librarian, for some helpful apps for students. There's lots of different cool apps now with the advent of iPhones and iPads, things that'll help with school. For example, there's lots of different research apps. You can get some of the school databases like Gale and EBSCO on your app. Um, you could also get uh, EasyBib to help you cite sources. There's also different items for, um, for getting books on, on your iPhone and iPad. So you could download Overdrive, which is a way to get eBooks and audiobooks through the library. You could download the app that's called Audiobooks and you could get free audiobooks that way. There's lots of different homework and studying apps. For example, you could use Google Drive, which most of your teachers use in class, so it'd be great to have it on your device. You could get a graphing calculator. Um, you could get My Homework, which helps you organize your homework um, assignments and due dates so that you don't miss assignments. You could get Evernote, which allows you to take notes on your device. Um, there's lots of different flashcard apps that you could use when you're studying and things like that. And then there's also some brainstorming apps like MindJet to help you get thinking about different items like an English class. Um, you could watch review videos on Khan Academy. Other useful tools and apps that you could have would be like Dragon Dictation, which you can talk into your phone and then it writes out what you're saying, so that's great for note taking. Um, you could always get a dictionary app or the Google app so that it's quicker. You can actually, the Google app you can talk into and then it'll search what you said into the phone. Um, you always want a QR code reader, um, so like Enigma or Red Laser would be great for that. And then there's of course presentation apps if you're creating something for school or trying to view it. You could get a Prezi uh, viewer, which is like an online um, tool that you can make the Prezi's online and then view them on your device. You can do uh, make cartoons using like Toontastic. Finally, there's um, Snap Guide, which will let you do like a how-to using videos, pictures, or text. Most of the ones I said are available on any device. There's a couple of them that are like iPhone specific. For the most part, they're all available and they're free, so that's the best part. So get off Angry Birds and download these apps, Titans. This is Molly Lobel, Titan TV. I'm definitely going to use some of those. Hey, Ashlyn, do you have any talents? Um, no, but I think Mary does. You're gonna miss me when 
Speaking of talent, last week our band exhibited theirs. Kayla has more. Every year in San Antonio, there's a Texas Music Educators Association convention. At this event, there are over 60 concerts, two huge exhibit halls displaying different instruments, and hundreds of clinics teaching musicians how to be better at what they do. Last weekend, some CHS students were fortunate enough to perform in the Allstate 4A and 5A bands, which is a huge accomplishment and honor. Playing in the band was really cool because there were so many really talented other people that I got to meet and it was just really fun. Also there's this place uh, called the Exhibit Hall which is the biggest room I've ever been in and it was just full of everything that you can imagine music related. It has tubas and flutes and everything in between. It was really fun. Our clinician for the Allstate Band was really fun. I really liked the way he conducted us and how he explained the music to us. It really opened my eyes to how he wanted it to sound. Mr. Sintera had a few things to say about Team EA. Well, Team EA, the Texas Music Educators Association Convention, is the, it's a huge convention and uh, has every sort of facet of the music industry, uh, education, instruments. And it helps a lot to, for you to have a lot of kids who are very educated as far as what's going on today, what are uh, the top bands and ensembles like, what is the latest equipment. So it's cool that you have kids that are interested enough to go down to San Antonio and check everything out and hear some of the those groups gives them a point of reference that other students don't have when you hear the very, very best groups. So, yeah, TV is a great thing. This was Kayla Ritchie, Titan TV. The Computer Science Club will have their weekly meeting on Wednesday at 8.15 a.m. in room A113. Prom tickets will be on sale from February 26th to March 22nd during all A-Day lunches. T-shirts will be available at the time of ticket purchase. Hey Titans, in your three classes you've been collecting money for pennies for pasta. All the proceeds are going towards lymphoma and leukemia research. And whoever brings the most money will get a pasta party in their 3A class. Donate and support the cause. The last day to donate for pennies for pasta will be March 1st. Thank you Titans. The next student council meeting will be Thursday the 28th. If you're interested in running for a student council position for the 2013 to 2014 school year, please attend this meeting. Good luck to ACTEC at the state tournament. Bro, what are you doing? Oh, um, nothing. I'm just uh, submitting my senior pictures to Titan TV at FriscoISD.org. You know what that means? Selfie war? Selfie war. Hey Titans, it's about that time of year, so start sending your photos to TitanTV at FriscoISD.org for the end of the year slideshow. Make sure all your pictures are school appropriate and that you're in dress code. And also avoid obnoxious selfies. Hi, I'm Sean and I'm here with this week's sports update. The Titans varsity baseball team opened their season Tuesday night with the win against Mesquite Horn 12-2. They travel to Flower Mound, Marcus, and Hebron this weekend for a tournament. Good luck, Titans. The varsity softball team traveled to Argyle last weekend for a tournament and finished second with a final tournament record of 5-1. Great job, ladies. The boys' varsity soccer team beat Heritage on penalty kicks last Friday but came up short against Liberty on Tuesday. Their district record is now 2-1. The girls' varsity soccer team defeated Heritage last Friday 1-0 and Liberty on Tuesday 3-0. The track team's first meet is this Saturday at Memorial Stadium. Good luck, Titans. That's it for this week's sports. Keep up the great work, Titans. Congratulations to our state-bound wrestlers and swimmers. Titan Nation is behind you all the way. That's it for this week's edition of Titan TV. See you next week, Titans.